Daniel was in a lion's den. <laughs> survived in the lion's den not because he was smart or he was physically strong but he survived in the lion's den because of his confidence in God he survived in the lion's den because of his faith in God the God who has the ability to save and deliver it is in this God Daniel placed his faith and his confidence the three Hebrew boats were all put in fire. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were all put in fire and the expectation was that they would perish in the fire. But these three boats were able to survive not because they were immune to fire attack but they survived because of their faith and confidence in the God who has the ability to deliver out of fire. They said to the king, O oh king, we will not bow down to your image because our God is capable of delivering us from your hands. But even if he doesn't deliver us, we will still not bow down to your image. Listen, these three boys were able to survive in the fire not because they were smart or they were physically immune to fire, but they were able to survive because of their confidence and faith in God. I want to ask you today that in what is your confidence? In the midst of the challenges, what do you put your faith in? In who do you put your confidence and your faith? Paul said, do not throw away your confidence which has a great reward. You need your confidence and your faith to survive in the challenges of life. In the midst of the fires of life, you will need your faith and your confidence in God. Because in God is your help. Listen beloved, your survival in the midst of the fire is dependent upon your confidence and your faith in I am the creator of the heavens and of the earth. In whom have you put your faith? In what is your confidence in the midst of this challenge you are going through? If your faith and confidence is in God, then you are set for victory and you are set for deliverance. Paul said the just shall walk and live by faith. It means that in the midst of the challenge and the fire you are going through, you will need to walk by faith. You will need to live by faith. How are you living and walking in the midst of the challenge you are going through? A lot of people are going through the challenges of life in fear. But I want you to go through the challenges of life having faith and hope in God that as you have confidence in Him, He is well able to deliver you and He will never fail you. Beloved, I came to let you know don't throw away your confidence because in the midst of the fires, you will need it to survive. The three boys did not throw away their confidence. Daniel did not throw away his faith in God. He kept his faith in his God. The three Hebrew boys kept their faith and confidence in God. And that was what gave them the victory. In the midst of the challenges of life, you may lose a lot of stuff. You may lose your friends. You may lose money. You may even lose your job. But no matter what you lose, keep your focus on God and keep walking and living by your faith because your survival and your victory in the midst of this challenge is dependent upon your faith and confidence in God and His promises. I pray for you who is going through all kinds of challenges and the fires of life that may the God who delivers deliver you from the hands of the enemy and may He empower your faith that by faith you will emerge victorious out of every challenge and every fire you are going through in life. May the victory of the Lord be your portion. As you get connected to Jesus, your life will never be the same. God richly bless you.